everybody, and thanks for joining us online today. Uh, the title of my talk is an image analysis algorithm based on the hue saturation density transformation, an important tool for melanoma immunotherapy research. So in this project, our task was to find the density of CD8 positive cells in TMA cores for melanoma patients. So we were given bright field scans of these TMA cores, which needed to be analyzed in an automated manner. Now in a bright field image, uh, the chromogenic stains for the different cell types are not in separate channels the way they would be in a fluorescent image. And this is shown down at the bottom of your screen. On the left-hand side, we have the bright field image, which is made up of red, green, and blue channels. Uh, and on the right, we have a computer-generated pseudo-fluorescent image, which is sort of our end goal in this project. So the challenge uh, is that the red CD8 positive cells are difficult to di distinguish from a background of brown melanocytes, because this is skin samples. Uh, so to better explain that, I have these images here, which show the individual red, green, and blue channels of a color image. And you can see, particularly with the brown melanocytes, they appear in all three channels. So uh, you have a, a mixture of those channels coming together to make a color image. Uh, what we would like to do is to isolate the stains uh, for each cell type into a separate channel. Uh, and this is shown down at the bottom here. After stain isolation, we have the red CD8 positive cells in one channel. We have the brown background melanocytes in another channel, and then we have the blue hematoxylin of the nuclei in a third channel. So when you separate them into separate channels, it's much easier to count each cell type. So to get this effective stain isolation, we use a technique called the Hue Saturation Density Transform, as proposed by Van der Lake et al. in Cytometry of 2000. Uh, the HSD transform is a mathematical projection of the three-dimensional RGB space onto a two-dimensional chromaticity plane defined by CX and CY values. In this plane, a given stain is defined only by its hue and saturation, and this allows accurate stain separation independent of the amount of stain. So after the stain isolation step, the nuclei and the CD8 positive cells can easily be segmented, classified, and counted. And that's shown here where we have our original bright field image, and then we have our overlay of our segmented and classified cells on the right. So at this point, I wanted to take you through a typical workflow for a project such as this. So in Definions, we're able to handle uh, tissue microarrays uh, via our grid view, uh, and what this allows is setting up a layout for your TMA in terms of number of columns and rows, as well as uh, if there's defined rows or columns that are blanks, you can put those in the grid as well. Then you can automatically detect the cores. As you can see, the tissue cores are detected in the green outline, and then it automatically places them in the correct location of the, the TMA grid. The next step is to train the software on the different chromogenic stains that are present in the image. And this is new to Tissue Studio 4.0. This new section is in the general settings, and it's uh, our stain picker. And what you are able to do is simply pick a paintbrush and color directly onto the image the different chromogenic stains that are present in your image. So I've zoomed in on the image here so you can see where I uh, took the paintbrush for IHC marker A. So for the red CD8 stain, I painted onto this cell. Uh, I took the IHC marker for uh, the melanocytes and painted onto them right here. Uh, I also took the blue counter stain and painted it onto uh, nuclei. And you also have the option of painting onto the background, uh, which tends to clean up the stain isolation a little bit. Now notice I use uh, the IHC marker, 
for the second IHC marker for the melanocytes, even though it, it is a background, but it, in this manner I'm able to uh, separate out that uh, confounding background stain. One nice feature is that we can then check the results of the stain isolation. So if I push this button down here, view marker A, uh, I can see the results of extracting out the red PDA positive channel.